There's <laughs> an ice bucket right there. <laughs> There's a toilet <laughs> in that room over there. <laughs> Drink out of it. It came from a can. What do we have today, Well, We have Toto Natural Entremesens Frutos del Mar. That's what we have. Seafood anti pasta. I'm not sure how this from Roland brand Spanish words actually mean what it says in English. Yeah, it does not translate. Uh, this was sent to us by Odin. Odin of Odin's Musings, uh, where she makes jewelry on her own YouTube channel and also that was a pretty fucking hardcore jewelry yeah. making video. Yeah. She had. Right on. They're like like fast forward speed like yeah. her just making jewelry. It's kind of interesting to watch. You might also remember her fan package where she sent us all the Romulus. Yes. Oh yeah. And the birth <laughs> of vodka durder. Vodka durder. Is it vodka durder? <laughs> yep. She spawned vodka durder. So. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to do that in the future. But for this one, this we're is... not gonna do anti best of vodka durder. No. No. Yeah, the picture on the front looks scary, folks. Yeah, I'm like not sure a what bad car do. accident. It's like, it's like sardines with like an olive and maybe a grape or something <laughs> in there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a seafood antipasto. Like, I'm not sure exactly what antipasto means because I always thought it meant without like pasta, but I've seen antipasto with pasta in it. So like, I don't. Maybe yeah. it's just like I always thought it was like a things... pasta salad without the pasta. Oh fuck! You know what? We we forgot to set. Uh, I need a paper towel, Luffy. You're my gaffer right now. You're my boy grip. All right, paper towels. All right, now I need. I need. Best uh, boy. Squishy, squishy. Oh, that looks what? like mm. a lot. Is that a pickle? Color. Oh, I got it? stuff in my drink. Damn it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Fuck. That's chug, chug, chug. Oh, it's fucking weird. Ah, it Down smells in like whatever Down that in is in fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Maybe it's just on my hand. Drink your fish, old fan. No, it's in my drink. God All this bitching from a guy who does fucking drink a destiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ew, I got a little seafood juice in my bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't well, I don't you just wanna try to... have to suffer if I don't have to? Yeah. Didn't you just this try to swallow? This was a dream for me to enjoy. <laughs> Didn't you just try to swallow two tablespoons of minced garlic in the last one? <laughs> that didn't turn out so well, did it? I didn't try to. I was contractually <laughs> obligated. Ah, yes. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, All right. So there's a lot of orange oil in this. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it looks beautiful. Um, what is that? Just is try that... some. Oh, I think that, that's, that's like definitely a, some kind of a cute. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give me a plate here just so I can pick this shit apart. Okay, so you're in luck. Lofi and I can eat the olives. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, good. Very good. I need that right. diverted to olives that you he won't even eat them. Does not like <laughs> them something like at this. All. all right, so there's one carrot. So I'm gonna split this carrot. What is like, like three of a half? What? <laughs> it's a third. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you did a lot of work for a, a little payoff. Yeah. I shouldn't taste like that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, the first initial flavor that I get, even with all of that seafood flavor that's supposed to be in there, it was like vegetable beef stew. And then all of a sudden it's like, nah, there's a little bit of a sardine flavor there at the end. Yeah. It's really strong in tomato. And, yeah, that's, yeah. That was a lot of work picking it all out. <laughs> it's not bad by any means, but it's just, it's an odd flavor for what it is. So what flavors are you getting? I'm getting like a little bit of like a vinegary sour flavor, which is kind of be like, if you're familiar with antipesto, that's kind of how that goes. But, um, there's a little bit of a fish flavor. Wow. There's a whistle. A little bit of a fish flavor. <laughs> Some fish flavors. Fish flavors. <laughs> Like, I I really don't think that you would even taste the olive if you actually ate one. Mm -hmm. Like, you can kind of take the olive texturally. You can tell it's there. It's just, it's a weird, like, fishy vegetable soup. Hmm. I, I don't know. That's odd. That's it's not displeasing, weird. but it's just... 
kind of opposite of what I thought this was going to taste like. It looks to have some of that bright red oil that you would find at the top of a can of Dinty Moore or something <laughs> when you first open it. And uh, yeah, it does kind of look like a vegetable minestrone if a couple of fish should have happened yeah, to have a really sure. bad accident. That's, that's what I did. <laughs> so, I am going to try um, one of the mussels. I'm a big fan of seafood, um, if you guys know me or uh, what I do. Um, so, this probably won't be too bad for me, but we'll see. Because, <laughs> uh, kind of a weird presentation. <laughs> but, one heaping pile. Here we go. <laughs> That's really super good. <laughs> I would buy that. I would buy that as just like a lunch. Mm -hmm. One day. Um, it's fantastic. So you're getting kind of like the vegetable soup, beef stewy kind of flavor? Kind of. Um, I think more it, like you were saying, the minestrone. Yeah. Kind of like a minestrone flavor. Um, it's got, like, I don't want to say it's salty, necessarily, but it's got a nice amount of salt. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just got a lot of flavors that complement each other. The texture is nice. Um, it's like you get a, a big chunk of tuna fish or something. Mm -hmm. It's all stuck in my teeth. <laughs> and uh, the vegetables go really good with it, too. Um, they're not really, you know, terribly firm, but... Anything canned isn't bound to be, but um, yeah, really good. Um, doesn't even need to be heated up, and uh, it tastes freaking amazing. I give that two thumbs up, big, big hearty approval. <laughs> Muscle, pepper, pickles. Yeah, this is like when all you assholes left me with nothing but beans, and Chris had to give me a <laughs> fucking frank just so I could taste the shit. You need the leftovers, bitch! He had to give you his frank, huh? Yeah, it was... All right, well, tasty, I'm not though. too concerned with getting everything in the same bag, so tasty. let's start here. I like Chris's Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a good mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he agrees. This is delicious. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, my God. 249. This is really good. Like, it's hard to pinpoint the flavor exactly. It's very citrusy and... It's got a lot of tomato flavor to it, though. Tomatoey, a little oily. It's got a nice tangy tomato a flavor. Nice tangy flavor. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I wouldn't call it like a Chef Boyardee sauce. No. Um, it's way better than oh, that. See, like, whenever I've ever had, like, an antipasto, it's very, very sharp on, like, the vinegar and oil. Like, that's the main thing. And it's yeah. always, like, Kalamata olives or, like, a big... Like yeah. I mean, this has a lot of vinegar and oil in it. But, like, that's not the overbearing flavor of it. Where, like, an act, whenever I've had antipasto, that's how it always is. I really actually enjoy this. Yeah. To me, the flavor of this is sort of like a non spicy hot wing flavor catered towards fish. <laughs> yeah. If that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. I might be drunk on if it uh, does. It's I, like that sort of tart flavor you get from that. Louisiana it's almost like the Franks, Louisiana and not, the Franks, you yeah. know. Just without any spice. Without, so, but no spice on it. Yeah. Um, like if that was sweetened up into like almost candy. Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of, I can see where you're going with that. Yeah, there you go. Roland, all natural uh, seafood antipasto. It's really fucking good. Amazing. Not to be confused within the hot seat. Yeah, <laughs> not that Roland. <laughs> it's a different Roland. Other way. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Todos natural antramenses, antramenses yeah. frutos del mar. <laughs> uh, once again, Odin, thank you so much for sending these to us and all your other shit we're going to do in the future. Uh, you can check out her blog and her YouTube channel down below in the links. This has been It Came From A Cane. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>